Madam Speaker. I call the Honourable Louise Upston. Uh, Madam Speaker, I want to rise and stand in support of my uh, colleague uh, Brett Hudson in his Members Bill that is the Social Security Stopping Benefit Payments for Offenders, and I want to say who repeatedly fail to comply with community sentences. And for the member that uh, has just resumed his, his seat, I think that is the key part that he uh, seems to conveniently have forgotten. Um, in, in the speech um, immediately, sorry, the bill immediately preceding this, uh, one of the other Labor members talked about the fact there is an expectation that offenders are held to account for their crimes. So this bill is not a bill about suitable sentences. This is about dealing with those who have been sentenced by the court and who repeatedly repeatedly fail to comply with the community sentence. So um, the, the speaker that just spoke before me completely missed the point in terms of what this bill is. And I want to provide, uh, Madam Speaker, a bit of context for this, because uh, New Zealand actually uses community sentences more than uh, most other jurisdictions around the world. Uh, and uh, members opposite should be pleased about that fact, um, because it is um, before incarceration. It's an important step. And as uh, Brett Hudson very clearly stated in his speech, one of the ramifications for people not being supported to comply with their sentences, one of the ramifications is that they could end up being incarcerated. I would have thought that side of the House wants to avoid that. Uh, I'm really hoping, and the New Zealand First member is shaking his head, I, I was shocked that uh, New Zealand First didn't support this bill. Really shocked, because I thought New Zealand First were a party that supported uh, the delivery of law and order. So the delivery of law and order is offenders being held to account. Offenders? So, so the New Zealand First member would like to see more of these people that are on community sentences currently going back to court and going to prison. Well, actually, I disagree with you. A and I want to talk. Order. The community probation staff of the Department of Nothing. Corrections do an extraordinary role with these offenders. I do agree with the speaker before me. Some of them have quite complex issues. Uh, and community corrections do an extraordinary job with these offenders. There are 27 thousand offenders a year on some form of community sentence, right? So for those people, they want to support them in complying with their sentence, so the sentence is done and dusted and they're never seen again. That is the intent. Unfortunately, there are some people who are frequent flyers who do not comply with the obligations that are set down by the court and that taxpayers expect the offenders to deliver. That's the guts of this bill, Madam Speaker, and the opposition seem to have completely lost the point. These are people that have been sentenced. These are about ensuring that people who are sentenced fulfil their obligations, comply with their sentences. And when uh, the officials were before us, it, it's a tool in their toolbox. They don't have to use it. Uh, and in many cases, they wouldn't use it, particularly if there are children in the household. Uh, and again, that point seems to have escaped uh, the opposition spoke, um, the, the gov government member who spoke before me. This is about ensuring that offenders who have committed crimes of a variety of nature are stopped in their tracks and we stop them and get them out of the justice system instead of progressing them through, as my colleague said, 1,300 offences against justice. We want to keep them out of prison. Uh, and it's interesting, some of the other comments that have been made uh, by the other side uh, in this debate and the one prior was about rehabilitation. Well, if the government was serious about rehabilitation, the first corrections bill they would have introduced into this House, they would not have scrapped the requirement for rehabilitation in that bill. It's outrageous that it was scrapped. I was in charge of it at the time. I know it was in there. I'm shocked that a government that proposes to be trying to reduce the prison population would scrap the one thing that makes an enormous difference, yes, to the lives of people who have challenges. Um, they don't care. They're going to go back on what they did in their first uh, their nine years 
where the prison population increased at a faster rate than the last nine years, and they want to lock them up and throw away the key, this is a tool they could use to stop people getting into prison, and they're not going to take it. Well said. Madam Speaker. I call Greg O'Connor. Madam Speaker, um, any student of history will...